What is going on guys? So today we're checking out the Yogurt Bar. This is the only Froyo spot in Beaumont. Back in the day we used to have a couple of them. Now this is the last one standing and we're going to check it out. They don't only serve Froyo, they serve a bunch of other things. We're going to find that all out in this video. Let's go. My name is Michelle McKinley and I'm the owner of the Yogurt Bar and it is um, Froyo, I mean frozen yogurt. Froyo kind of sells itself. We have a concept in here that's very family, kid oriented. We have games here. You know in Southeast Texas and areas you have a lot of bars and places to go and hang out but you don't have a whole lot of places where you can come as a family and young kids and hang out for a while. And I think that's what our, our concept was here, uh, to draw people into that and eat some yogurt. Other things we have besides Froyo, uh, we have lots of drinks here. We have tortilla rolls and summer salads for those little snacks that you need. You know, we have a lot of after school crowds that come in and maybe mom doesn't want Froyo or you want to take a you know snack. Uh, you can do that too. We do have movie nights. We are trying to have that once a month. Uh, we've had two so far. Sometimes we have one Friday night and then we have, uh, the other one we had was Saturday night. It was a little bit later time and that did real well. So we'll probably keep those up on uh, Saturday night, but we have different movies. We had an animated movie and then we had, we bought a zoo, which was a family, you know, movie. Uh, we'll probably throw in a Marvel movie, some different options, you know, different ages to attract. We are on 6025 Phelan Boulevard, Suite D. We're uh, in the shopping strip at Peyton and Phelan intersection next to Gotti and Company and Bruno's Grill. What would you tell uh, other small businesses that are out there trying to start a new business? Like, what advice would you give them? Uh, don't give up. Keep going. Keep pushing. Any hurdle that you reach and come across, it's just another day. The new day is coming and just keep pushing through it. Don't give up. All right, guys, I made it here over to the yogurt bar and I'm gonna see what they have to, to, to uh, eat. Uh, they have a bunch of different flavors. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 different flavors. So the best thing about Froyo is getting samples. So you can pretty much fill up on samples, but you know, let's, let's see, let's try sweet coconut. Very coconutty. Very like, like the sugary coconut. I guess it's called sweet coconut. So there you go. Let's try this cheesecake over here. So Froyo is known for being very tart and having lots of probiotics. So let's try this cheesecake. That's actually one of my favorites. I've actually been here before. That was a very good one. These are the non-dairy options. This is the pink lemonade. That's good. That's refreshing. I tend to like the ones that are non-dairy. And then let's try this one. This is the raspberry pomegranate sorbet. Very tart. I'm gonna try two more before they kick me out of here. This is the Southern Butter Pecan. Very pecan-y and buttercream. That's good. Let's try one more. We'll skip the non-sugar options. This is the one I wanna try, Cookie Monster. Blue, just like Cookie Monster. Yeah, that's good. I wouldn't call it Cookie Monster, but it's good. And I think I might get a mix of Cookie Monster. And let's try, let's try the Mountain Berry one, one last one. All right, I'm gonna make my thing now. All 
All right, so the flavors we're gonna go with today is the sweet coconut and cheesecake. This is perfect because they have a swirl over here and uh, let's do this. This is the hands-on part of making your own froyo. You can put as much froyo as you want. Just make sure that you don't put too much because they do weigh it. And then we added some fruit, some raspberries, some blueberries, and also some pop and boba along with these marshmallows right here. We also topped it off with some healthy Snickers, of course. Snickers uh, and chocolate, you can't go wrong with that at all. The next thing we also got was an acai bowl. You can see right here, they put some frozen acai in there and then blended it up with a mixture of strawberries and bananas and then poured it in a bowl to put all the toppings you wanted. First off, they put on some fresh fruit, some strawberries and bananas. And then I asked her, top it off with whatever her favorite was and she said it was granolas and some mixed nuts such as almonds and walnuts to end it she drizzled it with honey and this is the acai bowl acai I actually went to brazil before and had acai this one looks pretty delicious all right so let's try this acai bowl right here it has a plethora of stuff. This is like superfood right here. Acai. Let's give it a try. Look how delicious it looks. It looks healthy too. So let's get a little bit of everything. The bananas, the strawberries, and of course the acai. Cheers. Actually matches my shirt. So Michelle wanted me to tell like what's my honest opinion of the acai. I think this one tastes better than in Brazil. Brazil actually tasted more like ice base than this one. This one, like you saw her put the acai in there and there's clearly, it's not lacking in it at all. The granola has a nice like crunch to it. And this thing is a huge bowl. It's gonna fill you up. <clears throat> I actually haven't eaten it yet, so I'm uh, glad that this is huge. But yeah. Now I might actually like this better than the Froyo. Let's get a thumbs up for me. Out of a 10, I give this like a 9.4. Pretty, pretty delicious and healthy. This is our froyo. We got boba, some Snickers, blueberries. So we got a mixture of sweet coconut and cheesecake. See it right there. This is not as healthy as the acai bowl for sure. It's got Snickers, some boba, some marshmallows, uh, raspberries, and blackberries. Of course, it has the waffle cone right here too. So let's give this a taste. Let's break off a piece of the waffle cone and I'll dip it like a nacho. Ah, that's not working. Anyway, let's try it. Mm. For some reason, I love marshmallows. Like, my favorite ice cream is Rocky Road, and I just love that marshmallow texture. This is good. I think uh, the sweet coconut, Works well with everything. This is a lot more sweeter. Let's try some of the uh, Snickers. I give this out of 10, I give this like a, an 8.4. My, my favorite is this one for sure, the acai bowl. That's what I like. This is good too, but the acai bowl, is this healthier and the flavors are not sure. But yeah, they have a lot of different things too. They also have like little salads and parfaits and even some charcuterie boards. Every once in a while they'll have them here. Just depends on the day when you come here, you can see what, what they have. Uh, in the back they have some uh, macaroons 
and they have some cookies too. So if Froyo is not your thing, they have acai bowls, they have everything else too. And you know, it's just a great small business and she opened it up, uh, you know, th this year and doing great, doing great. And the food's good too. So I always like to go to a place that is local and has good food. All right, guys, so that's gonna be the yogurt bar. Good place, I met the owner, Michelle. Really nice person too. She's working hard to make that place great for the whole community. And uh, yeah, check it out, the yogurt bar. It's over here next to Bruno's, Gotti's, and this little shopping center over here. Check them out, the yogurt bar. And if you guys want to follow me to the food, make sure to subscribe to me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>